Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Irene Milanes. And I'm Hara Sakib. Today is Tuesday, April 21st. This is our first distance learning show for the fourth term. Let's start by checking out a new teacher here at CO. I'm Ms. Glubka, and I'm the long-term sub for Ms. Lobby, and I'm covering um, English 11, a couple classes of English 11 and yearbook right now. Yeah. Um, so I have been an English teacher. I'm just subbing this year because I'm working on my master's in English. So I'm really familiar with Google Classroom and so far it's been fine. I think I'm just learning the um, specifics of things or like programs that um, CO uses like StudySync for English. And other than that, uh, the students have been great. They seem to be like they're very respectful and uh, they let me know if they need more information. But the district has done an excellent job of providing information on how to do everything like attendance and um, how we should kind of be running it. So yeah, it's been, I think it's been fine. I wish I could see some of the students um, face to face, but yeah, it's been, it's been good. I'm doing Arizona State online, so that's actually another reason why this is kind of interesting because basically how my uh, master's classes are set up, it's the same kind of what we're doing now for distance learning. Like, you know, an assignment will be posted and I'll have a week to do it and I go on discussion boards and I don't really see my classmates, so it's the same as the boat that you all are in. I would, I guess I would tell myself to make a schedule and stick to it. Um, Cause even as an adult, I think it's hard to not have a schedule. Um, you'll stick to it. And I think as a teenager, I'd probably be worrying a lot. And I would just reassure myself that this is all gonna be okay. Like everyone has the student's best interests in mind um, to get through this. Um, yeah. I'm trying to find out more information. Um, I've emailed with Mr. Lee and some of the, or uh, Mr. Champion, vice principal, and I've been in touch with the editors of the yearbook, the student editor. We're just figuring out how best to advertise it um, through Wolfpack TV and I'm um, still working on, I'm still working on trying to figure out how distribution will take place, but as soon as I get that information, I'll, I'll get it to, to Wolfpack TV and we'll work on um, creating advertisements or videos so that students know how they can get their yearbook. Okay. I hope it gets easier for everyone to adjust to this new situation. Having senior year cut short has been rough on the class of 2020. More on that from Kay Liotta. Every high school student, including myself, look forward to their senior year. The activities include seeing sunrise and sunset, senior movie night, fall, Great America, Disneyland, and graduation. However, for the class of 2020, their senior year was cut short due to the recent virus that's greatly affecting the world. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness that's very deadly for all ages. This very infectious virus caused many school districts to close, including our own Elk Grove Unified School District. Let's hear from students from the class of 2020 to hear how COVID-19 influenced their senior year. Hi Wolfpack, my name is Nicole Saravia and I am a senior this year. Hey guys, it's Angie. I hope you guys are all doing okay and safe at home. So since the coronavirus put a rough dent to your senior year, I was wondering what are some events and activities you missed due to it? Some activities that I am specifically missing a lot are softball. And I've also met my closest friends there and I was just really looking forward to the season. Um, I've missed out on basically the end of my senior year altogether, like ball which was supposed to be today, and our senior goodbye rally, and our senior barbecue. So aside from softball, I'm also missing the Latino Club and our end of the year events like the Cesar Chavez um, conference and our Sun Splash field trip. How did the closure affect your school life now? 
the school closing just really sucks altogether because like I didn't think it was actually gonna happen at least for this long and like I never really got to say goodbye to my teachers or some of my friends. My school life has definitely gotten a little harder. It's definitely hard not seeing my friends every day and being in class with them and it's also really hard not being able to get the help that you would usually get with your teachers when it's just one-on-one -on -one and you know face-to-face. -face. I've gotten a little better at time management than I was during school to be honest. What are you doing to keep busy during this quarantine? I have walked my dogs a lot, a lot of times. Um, we just got a pool in our backyard so I've been out there trying to tan and my sister and I uh, we just kind of chill and jam to some music. My travel ball team and I actually um, call each other on Zoom so that way we can do our workouts and just catch up on anything that like um, is going on in our lives basically. But one main thing I have done is set up a family movie night. Have you found anything positive during this journey? I would have to say my family, we've kind of gotten closer just because we're, we were forced to um, because of this whole quarantine and it really just makes you appreciate like the time that i had in high school so i know that this situation is definitely rough and no one was anticipating it but something positive that has come out of this journey has been my ability to come up with just fun things to do and manage my time a lot better and we finished a yearbook so you should go buy it link in my bio Here's some recent coronavirus updates. On April 15th, Governor Newsom implied when the time comes, restaurants will reopen once they're given approval. However, they'll be removing some of their tables. Servers will be wearing a mask and a gloves, and menus will be disposable. Concerts and sporting events are unlikely to come back until we get a vaccine. We have not received a date for the end of the sheltering order. However, the next two weeks are important for the future, as officials are hoping a decline in cases. Stay safe out there, Wolfpack. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Harasaka. And I'm Mary Milanis. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Remember to wash your hands, Wolfpack.